That's can weird. you do a question for me, Justin? Oh, I love that, Griffin. Thank you so much for asking. That's so sweet of you. I'm 24, and I want to get into eating cheese. It felt like he was going to interrupt us, which yeah. is why I... No. Okay. Myself? It felt like he was going to interrupt himself, but I was really excited to watch it happen. Yeah. So I'm 24, and I want to get into eating cheese so that I don't feel like a social pariah at fancy dinner parties. <laughs> Did you just lean over to fart? No, he was scared you were no, going to interrupt No, I'm afraid you're going to like, yell at me. So I don't feel like a social pariah at fancy dinner parties. I'm not lactose intolerant. I just don't like how it tastes. Yes. I do love pizza, though, because pizza is the perfect food, second only to sandwiches. That's incorrect, but whatever. I assume that, at least for me, it will be an acquired taste. What would be a good type of cheese to start with? And that's from Cheeseless in the District. Now, brothers, I am going to have to defer to you on this question. I'm assuming the first dozen pieces of raw cheese you put into your mouth were foul and profane. <laughs> no, no, as they would, they turn... Please explain they turn the terminology to, you've just used. I, raw cheese, we've talked about it before. It's, I, well, I don't fuck with raw cheese. I only like melted cheese. Like on pizza or burgers, I just don't fuck with raw cheese. It's so it's good. Not that, it's not that weird. Raw cheese is milk. I just don't fuck with raw cheese. <laughs> so you guys will have to talk about how na- don't 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 do this to me right now, okay? I'm trying to do a comedy show, I don't want to talk about raw cheese and how it cheese turns- has been cooked, kind of. My wife. It's been stirred enough, I think. <laughs> We've been trying to get the kids to broaden their palates, and Sydney said, you know, you set a really bad example because you rule out whole categories of foods that you won't even try. And I said, name one. She said, raw cheese. I said, name two. That was a gimme. And she, <laughs> she said, creamy dips. <laughs> and it's fair. I won't eat creamy dips. And she said, you can't just say you won't eat creamy dips. You're 38 years old. I said, let me turn that around on you. I'm 38 years old. I can say that I don't like creamy dips. I'm just not gonna do that. Uh, French onion, uh, the soup's great, the dip's whack. Creamy ranch, ranch, yes. ranch foul. That's the one that boggles my mind. Foul. Ranch, the like second, like I would say it goes like ketchup and mustard tied. Ranch is like right there of like most go to. Don't fuck with it. Okay. Don't fuck with so ranch. So, how do you don't start? Fuck with creamy dips. Don't fuck with raw cheese. So, brothers, how did you start? How right. did you power through your first hundred nasty bites of raw cheese to okay. trick yourself into thinking it was good? I, I'll get to how to enjoy it in a second. If you want to sound continental more <laughs> than any other like food there is, cheese is the easiest thing to bullshit about and sound intelligence. To the point where you can even comment on the consistency of it and sound smart and go, ooh, that's a soft cheese. <laughs> a thing anyone could tell. Oh, and I uh, are like, oh, yes. Oh, oh, that's kind of a hard cheese. I kind of uh, destroyed that with my teeth into a different state that was easier to swallow. So <laughs> I, have a, I have a few catch-alls that I use for wine that you could probably steal for cheese. Okay. Like, uh, let me give you one. Oh, assertive. Ooh. <laughs> and then you back it up again, like, take another sip and buy yourself a few more time, a little bit more time. That's assertive fruit. That's yeah. an assertive fruit on there. Oh, is that pepper? Ooh. A little bit of that. That's good. Can I try one? Yeah. Take a bite of the cheese and go, ooh, that's very cheese forward. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you're doing a sketch. I wouldn't do that. You could also take a bite. Here's the secret. Psst. Unlike wine, actually exactly like wine, nobody has any fucking idea what they're talking about. <laughs> so if you pick up any cheese and bite it and go, oh, that's gone bad, nobody can disprove it. Start, start it with, actually, that's bad. <laughs> oh, don't eat this one, guys. <laughs> this one's bad. Don't eat this one, Mary. Uh, that would go well with crackers is another, like, I, 95% of the time you're cool with that. I like how you guys have glommed onto the easy part of this question, which is faking expertise, which anyone can do at any time, and not focus on the hard part, which is how to eat fucking rowdy well, what am I supposed cheese. To, I'm not going to teach I'll, I'll them, tell you how to do it. Yeah, I'm okay. not going to do close-up magic for you up here to show you how to pocket it. I want you to take a bite of the cheese. This is what I do when I go to the dentist. Take a bite of the cheese, and then just start What the fuck's up with your dentist, my butt? No, no, no. Let me get to it. 
Take a bite of the cheese. Your teeth are fucked up, and we're going to have to get in there like Rambo and save your mouth. But first, I melted some brie on some apples. <laughs> that wasn't the part I was getting. But that would be nice. I Actually, wouldn't. Now, now that you're saying that, that would be pretty I mean, cool. If they melt it, sure. Yeah. That's fine, too. We're all in agreement. That'll Take a bite of the cheese and then start counting ceiling tiles. That's yes, what I was work. going to say. Oh, that was it? Yes. Okay. Wow. That's what I do at the dentist. It wasn't a good bit, but I was hoping I'd give you time to think of something funny to say. And now we've pulled back the curtain too far. Oh, shit. 